this was Lynn's directorial debut. So what was he like as a director? You would never know that it was the first thing he directed. You know, I, I think the fact that he had never like officially directed is is kind of neither here nor there. He's a born storyteller. He's a born leader. He's a constant creative six-year-old boy still. Like he's Peter Pan in that way. His imagination is unbridled and unfathomable and kind of completely uncontrolled. We see that, you know, in the musical, Jonathan sort of, sort of wondering if he chose the wrong career path in the performing arts, you know, kind of struggling with that. Is that something you've ever felt or were you always rooted and certain in knowing that this was your path? When I was 17, 16, 17, I had a wonderful teacher that came into my life that kind of saw me doing a school play and he, it was all I needed for him to say to me, hey, I think maybe, maybe you could pursue this. I was like a dog with a bone after that because I was I was like really looking for what I wanted to do with my life and thank God for my my first drama teacher in, in high school, Mr. Tong. He came in at exactly the right moment for me in my life and then he kind of ushered me towards drama school and, and then I really started to study, you know, the great playwrights, Arthur Miller and Tennessee Williams and Shakespeare and Marlowe and, you know, uh, Eugene O'Neill and, and, and I, I, I really started to fall in love with and realize that my first and only truest love is story. And being able to tell story in, in a live space in theater is the place where I feel most at home. Then when I left drama school, I had a year of being unemployed, like which is a rites of passage in a necessary thing, obviously not to the extent of John, but it, it, it makes you have to reaffirm and recommit to that primary dream that you have. And because you get it gets challenged, you get threatened by poverty, um, and uh, you know, not being able to make rent, not being able to um, you know pay for food, like eating out of like you know pot noodle cu cups every night, and you know, I, there's only so much so much time I can have like pasta with, with with butter on it. You know, it's like I can't do that three meals a day. So you know, it was tempting to give in. It was tempting to get a proper job, but then thank thank God I hung in there and and I, I started to work again, and, and I'm the luckiest person I know. Lin Manuel Miranda offers you this part without even knowing if you can sing. You know, it was. It was uh, the craziest call to ever receive. First of all, that Lynn wanted to talk to me about a creative project because it was in the height of my discovery and falling in love with Hamilton. Like so many other people, just I was just overwhelmed by this cultural moment. Yeah, I mean, yeah, so you get it. And it's as if, you know, the, the album you've been listening to on repeat for the last three years suddenly like starts talking to you and say hey you listening to you know non-stop for the 89th thousandth time hey you andrew do you want to come and maybe create something with me and it's like yes whatever it is i will do it i will i will do whatever it takes to do it with you because you know for me it's like I just want to work with people that I'm inspired by. I want to reach towards their level of talent and creativity. So I, I knew immediately I would want to do it with him. And then the fact that it was about Jonathan Larson and his life, it was like, oh no, this is maybe too soulful for my little heart to take. It's too much beauty and, and joy and, and sorrow. And like, you know, the, the story of John is so full of longing and creativity and struggle and community and love and being misunderstood and doing it anyway and like it's it, all the thing like being true to your gifts being true to your art all of these things mean so much to me and this is how i want to spend my time like i want to spend my time this way i want to spend my time with people like john and lynn telling stories like this one this is <laughs> i'm realizing it in the moment now this is exactly how I want to live my life. And I, I'm just so indebted to him for, for, for bringing me on the journey.